All right. The next screencast is going to show how to add a page on a um, on a Google site. This is fairly simple. Um, when you're not in edit mode, you can click on this little plus with the page on it right here. You click this item here, you're going to get um, a new page. So it's creating a new page. So all you got to do is name your page. So perhaps I'm going to have an entire page dedicated to um, let's see class pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create that. You have a lot of different options here. You can make a web. These are the different templates. There's a web page template, an announcements template, a file cabinet template, um, a list template, a start page, and this is the home page for this particular website template. We're going to ignore that because that's not typically there. I use the template to create this site. I'm going to just go with web page. Um, there's really no reason to have anything other than that for this particular uh, uh, page. I'm going to put pictures in it. I'm going to click create. Well, let's take a look at select location. You can put it at the top level. What that means is it's not below any pages. So if you think of like a hierarchy or like an, I like to think of it like a, an organizational chart where you have like your CEO sits at the top layer and then you have like your board of directors uh, below uh, or you have like a president and then a board of directors below that and then below that you might have middle management and then below that uh, you know you have other employees and things. So it's hierarchical just like that so you can um, put pages above and below different pages and there's options to show links to sub pages and stuff so you could also choose a different location and this is going to open up a browser for the entire um, website contents you'll notice that at the very most um, root layer of the site it says Mr. Hanrahan's fourth grade so this is uh, the top layer right here of this site or the hierarchy so all of these things are at the top later if you look under newsletters there's a, a page underneath newsletters and this particular page is an announcements page and it lists these pages as sub pages. So on February 5th, 2013, it was 2013 there was a sub page created. On the 31st there was a sub page created uh, for the different newsletters. So um, that was uh, one of the ways that you could use that um, to, to list pages below it. So I'm just going to create this web page. So I'm just waiting for it to create it. So I've just created this page and I can edit it just like any other page. Um, I'm going to click save for the moment. The other thing I'm going to show you real fast on this, we're not going to cover uh, placing this page in the navigation pane. Uh, we'll cover that in a different module. But So we've created this page and what I can do is you'll notice that it says add files and then there's a little folder there and then there's comments. There's a way to shut all this off. If you click on, click on more and you go to page settings, under page settings you can turn off showing links to sub pages, allowing attachments and allowing comments for the web page template. You can also change the template of uh, the page that you created just like you could on the creation page. You can also check this box to make it show in the navigation bar. Um, that's a good quick way to get it to show over there on the left. But uh, we're also going to cover how to deal with that if you can't, if you happen to miss this or you don't uh, remember to come here. So for right now, I'm just going to click save. So I'm just going to check the box, show in the sidebar. Then I'll choose save. You'll notice that on the left, um, once this process is the changes, it's going to have class pictures at the bottom in the navigation pane um, and uh, the different bottom portions of the web page template are now gone. So that's how you create a page as well as place it in the navigation bar. Uh, in another module, we're going to show how to manage different places in the site using the uh, manage site portion, which is under here under more. But that will be covered in a later module. Thanks.